Rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Roller right. Temple. We just uh, arrived back from Kavach to find out that it's attacked. The amulet was uh, just stolen. And now we're on our way to Cloud Ruler Temple, which is conveniently already discovered. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septimus. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. walk Blade dark times are upon us the emperor and his sons were slain on our watch the empire is in chaos but there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, 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 Septim. Septim. hail! Hail! Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you, I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion Invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that would take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Don't worry about... You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? I'll never join you. Yeah, I'm gonna join. <laughs> it is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight's Brother of the Blade. See, we'll talk to him later. But God. We're gonna keep. We're always gonna have the steel sword short on sword. Blah, steel short sword on us in case of. Uh, May your sword spirit guide us. In the now we have a uh, katana, which is a very cool weapon. And in here, I don't know why I just picked up another one. Huh. Here we have everything. We are a blade now.
I guess we'll use we'll use the shield for now. Hail. What's up? If not, we can use our other guitar. Good evening, sir. Who was I supposed to talk to? Yeah, I was supposed to talk to Joffrey. Joffrey, not Joffer. It is good to be back here. It raises my spirits just to walk these ancient halls again. We will prevail. We must prevail. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. All right. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything now. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One and reseal the barriers between Oblivion and our world. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress, and sanctuary. We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead, and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. The Daedra Prince of Destruction an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thand's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. This fortress is well supplied with arms and armor. Use what you need from the armory in the East Wing. Right. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. So now we're going to go to the Elven Gardens district, and we're going to talk to Boris, which was the only surviving blade from the, I guess, tutorial. Nope, it's this one. Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. How do you do? Good morning. Have you shopped at the Gilded Corral? I've never shopped there, but I... Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. So long. Take care. guy is a mythic dawn spy which is the mythic dawn is a cult oh God. i have a horrible habit of just hitting the wrong people yeah the mythic dawn is a cult which uh wants to open a portal for the daedric prince mayron's dagon Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. Right. The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. What? They took it from Joffrey? 
things are worse than I had thought. Thank Talos he lives. Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades. There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich Colt. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Diedrich Colt. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. And um, there are a lot of Mythic Dawn spies. What do you need, friend? And the more we help out with the blades, the Mythic Dawn will not like us. And all these random people that look like ordinary civilians are um, actually... Uh, um, are actually um, sp uh, spies. Yes. Luther Broad's board. And actually need to level up. So I'll spend How are some you? money on a bed. <clears throat> For a bed so I can level up. If not, we're just gonna fast travel. Oh, we're right there. there we're probably gonna have be at the 15 minute mark so we're going to save and then we are going to end the current episode all right so i'm going to save here and in the next episode we are going to um we're going to talk to Tarmina, and they'll give us the uh, clues on what we need to know about the Mythic Dawn.